Yo, what's going on guys? Caitlyn is an absolute monster right now with the buffed lethality items. Basically, lethality items got a lot cheaper for season 14, making them just cheaper across the board. For example, Yomu's only 2,700 gold. We can delay our initial boots purchase because this gives us out of combat and in combat movement speed plus 60 AD, 18 lethality at a cheap 2,700 gold cost. For runes, we have Hellblade. Still hasn't been nerfed like pretty much every keystone. Plus, it's not nerfed for range champs either like Lethal Tempo or fleet or conquerors and we have taste of blood eyeball ultimate hunter absolute gathering I want to put some pressure on this guy early on all right and then we have attack speed 80 and magic resist i don't mind taking some minion damage because i do have taste of blood plus i have uh d blade healing we don't want to really miss a minion to auto him once we should be doing significantly more than one auto attack worth of damage like more like three if i'm going to give up a minion that's how they end up catching back up is that you get them low they reset but you've missed so many minions that you're not really building too much of a lead rip it's playing super far back step forward get my bolt there sooner get a ward down here we can snipe raptors away it's a really good spot to ward. Here comes the Jarvan. You want to fight Jarvan? <laughs> you want to fight, buddy? You don't have an item, dude. He literally doesn't have an item. Hey, friends. Got him with the headshot. Flash away. And we're chilling. Chilling and grilling. Missed the net. All right, that's rough. We did get his flash though. <laughs> that was really rough. All right, we got the double long sword. We're chilling. Whew, fizz flash. I kind of thought his flash was on cooldown, but yeah, he troll pulled, flashed it. Well played by him. We should have ghost to deal with him. Jarvan's really far behind. Am I going to get cannon XP? I am. Cool. Very nice. Sick. We got a lot out of that. He has to back now too. I need to back myself. Don't want to give up that minion. Blow a lot of mana to get it. He's basically going to miss a whole wave, is what happens there. We'll put it on the can mini. We can roam off with our ghost as well. Boop. Put a Hellblade's auto on him, get it activated so we can crank off these three autos real quick. Wow, my cannon keeps sneaking up so he can easily uh, last hit it. That was very strange. Got much closer to the turret than it needed to be to actually auto the turret. Well, we see exactly where Jarvan's at. I should be able to get there before the fizz. He's in the cage. All right, not bad. I'm still on ghost. Fizz retreated. He shouldn't have. I'm going to wipe his team now. Sick. <laughs> that was sick, dude. Ghost is so freaking broken. I didn't bother to use a Q there because I wanted to keep closing distance. You have to stand still for so long to use Q. Just press forward, use W's in between autos as an auto reset. I could go for Hex Drinker against a matchup like Fizz. Could be a great option here. I have minion advantage. That hurt. He took a lot of damage for it, at least. Whew, I thought he was going to swing out wide. Yeah, he wants it. Got it. Ooh, not quite. I'm pretty low for the Jarvan gank. I think his wave's coming to me, though, so I'll just leave it where it is. My minions went underneath turret. He still has cam minion advantage. It's a good time for me to base. 
We got the Fizz Flash, didn't die. Or the Fizz Ghost and didn't die. I'm happy with that. We'll go for this item. It's really, really strong. 20 AD. 4% movement speed. Oh, he ended up staying. That little turd. We're moving 338 instead of 325. Because of this new item, Wreck Tricks. Wreck Tricks. He's stalling out his own back so much. He's not even getting played off of it. So although I did lose some minions, it's not really worth it for him to have done that, in my opinion. Now I need to push. And I got it. Looks like they took the void bugs. Should be a plate for me. No, no clue why Vi's running over there. She just showed herself on the map for nothing. Oof, at least she pushed Jarvan away. Fizz is six. He could definitely kill me here if he wants to. And I can't just hit him in the head with my R like I would most champions to chip him down. Because... He's going to troll pull and dodge it. Makes this an awkward matchup. He really swings out far. Best bet is just shove wave and force him to use his abilities on the wave instead of using them on me. <clears throat> I thought he might try it there. Dash forward, press R. Go ahead and back. I already got the wave crashed. He can't stop my back with shark. It doesn't do damage till it pops. So even if he lands it from a distance, it shouldn't cancel my recall. I'll go ahead and pick up tier one boots just because I can't afford anything else. I should be able to still buy this on my next back if I grab a plate or two for my base. My ghost is coming up. Ooh, she's dead. She's level 5, 8 minutes in. That's rough. Why isn't that strong of a jungle champion? I don't think she's been viable for quite some time. I don't think there's a real point of playing her. Too inconsistent. Might as well just play Zen or Jarvan. Emphasis on the Jarvan. Boop. There's the headshot. And I get the two fast odds from Hellblade after that. So 1, 2, 3. EQ back. You're dead. Yeah, he wasn't expecting that type of damage. Can't get them all. Rip. Go double points and traps here. We'll max trap second net last. Jarvan's bot side, so I'll take all this. I want to line these up. Sick. No reason to waste my headshot on a minion here. I'm not going to put it on turrets since I'm already underneath it. Didn't want to give up that minion. Nice. Got some plates. We can afford what we are wanting to get. Put that on his head. Want those hell blade autos. Tanking these minions. I am dead though here, I think. Alright, never mind. He got nervous. He didn't want to stay in my auto attack range. I think I could have chipped him down eventually. He's not showing on those minions, so he might still be chasing. He's probably kicking himself for like, not fully committing for the kill there. It's hard to say. He might have been able to kill me. If he didn't have Flash Ghost, it would have been tough for him. Oh, I guess he does have boots. Maybe he did goof up there. Let's go ahead and build more lethality. Second item, you could go for pretty much anything. Opportunity is not bad. After being out of combat with the champion for eight seconds, you get extra lethality. It's really good for just hitting random Caitlyn R's or Caitlyn Q's. Typically, you see this more on uh, junglers, though. After being out of combat with champions, I guess that's not that hard. That's pretty easy to do if you're just farming for a little bit. ADC has 10 minute marks. Not horrible. About 8, eight per 10. 
Wow, I wasn't able to stop him there. Shoot. Juicy. Get that right there. I could have taken that if I reacted fast enough. We are up four plates on this guy. Auto W auto. Auto EQ. That hit though. Oh, there's a scrap going on down here. Could Yomu's to get there. It looks like it fizzled out. Even if they get a kill on my teammates, it's not really worth. I'll get a plate plus bonus. I think it's a hundred bonus for tur first turret gold. Bonus first turret gold. Oh, it's 150. Not bad. Even if they get a double kill, we got turret. Caitlyn rips turrets pretty quickly. Might as well have one trap respawning. Put it on cooldown. It's really done a good job of uh, avoiding my cues. I can't really stop him there. I can stop Jarvan from crossing over. <laughs> you shall not pass. All right, there's your turret, buddy. Why don't you sit on that? Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Didn't quite go through. That sucks. <gasps> Would have been the perfect recall. And got it. Nice. All right. Let's get the uh, opportunity. Randomized attack does 100 bonus physical damage and slows. Dashes, stealth, stack and drives. We'll take Cyclo Sword would be all right too. I think opportunity is a little bit better because the, the movement speed on it is going to be more useful. Their team's pretty squishy as a whole. Jax, Twitch, Fizz. Assuming Jax doesn't go tanky, tanky build. Kind of has to go Bork Rush and Assign. Bork got heavily nerfed. It no longer gives a self speed up. It's just... They've removed it. And it's about the same price anyways. I think it's 3300 It used to be. Now it's 3200 But the speed up was worth quite a bit. Use the Omus for this. Do something, Vigar. Holy crap. Wow. That last auto. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That one hit hard. What does she think she's doing though? She had a bunch of armor too. Boop. Let's get a word down. Let's see who's coming. And got it. Auto EQ, you're dead. Boof. <laughs> He's so squishy. His only HP item is his Dark Seal. It's only, was it 40 on Dark Seal? Yeah, it's 50. Oh, that hit. Hmm, this is bad. That's wild. The, the Leona range on that, it's like Blitzhook. And they quit. All right, we'll go ahead and do a part two because that game was so short. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of some lethality. Caitlyn in the mid lane up against a way this time. Should be a harder matchup since he's ranged. He can trade back a bit when we go into auto. As long as we take full advantage of our headshot and triple hell bid auto, we should be fine though. Just bam, bam, bam. He hits me with one ability. We'll out trade him. We out heal him with D blade. And taste of blood. So yeah, should be good to go. Here this guy's. Uh, I like to get a ward down on the Raptors early, because then I can snipe it away with my Q. Yeah, 
I'm not sure. It's a little risky. I usually do it after I push the first wave. But uh, I don't mind getting down this early. Especially since it's time. I want to know if he starts on Raps, Red Krugs, maybe Ginks Mid. Or just Red Krugs, Raps, Ginks Mid. Go ahead and launch it through the minions to start. Holy moly, are they going to hit that minion? Got the headshot ready. Crank out these autos. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. That minion's hecka tanky. One, two, th and three. Oh. <laughs> what am I clicking on? He's giving up a lot of CS himself. He's not really going to have to step on a trap, so I'll get net too to survive gank. Net, uh, net's also a big setup. Again with the EQ auto. Auto, down he goes. We'll take it. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to be looking to go for Yomu's rush. And then we'll have second, probably opportunity. If you haven't attacked an enemy champion within 8 seconds, you get extra lethality, which is pretty sick for hitting big R's or Q's or even big headshots. First back, longsword with... I would like to grab another longsword if I can. The wave's coming to me, so I, I could wait. Man, this is taking forever. But no, I'm not going to sell potion. He had a base that's coming to me. He needs to push hard. Since I crashed the wave, I knew it was going to bounce back. Which is the only reason why I waited. If I had to be there really, really quick, then I would have bought boots to get back to the lane sooner. One of the biggest perks of Yomu's is it lets you, in good faith, kind of skip boots for a bit. Rush Yomu's because it has out of combat and activatable movement speed. So essentially in combat and out of combat movement speed. Can't quite find him with the net. That's okay. Where the heck is this guy going? Found it. Ah, uh, I knew that minion was going to do that. I couldn't feel it. One, two. Ah, oh, jeez. His damage is kind of crazy. I think we missed that Q on him as well. We just need to hit the minions and force him to use his abilities on minions. As, as we can see, his damage is kind of nuts. Wait, he's not even on my uh, thing. Got it. <laughs> Double buffs. That's kind of sick. I'm surprised my trap missed. Nunu's got slow on him. Oof. Well played to the Nunu there. That was nasty. We'll take it. Auto into Q. Skadoosh. And should use my E. It's before the five minute mark, so we're not doing full damage against turret. Doing heavily reduced. And that sucks. Got red buff slow on him. You never want to step into a Caitlyn EQ. There's a headshot coming at the tail end of that. Super, super painful to run into. Let's put our W, at least one of them on cooldown so we can have something to kite around. Skadoosh. Try to put a little bit of pressure on this guy. I have red buff healing me up pretty fast. So I'm running this way. I'll put one right there. Missed. Oh wait, I actually hit him with my Q. Nice. Oh my goodness, that his, that ability does way more damage. I think if you've been slowed recently, slowed or CC, it does like double. I played away one time just to see what it was all about. Wasn't a huge fan. I'm gonna E back, catch him with the net and the R. Goodbye away. Auto Q. Caitlyn's so freaking oppressive. Even against a long range champ like Wei, to utilize the Hell Blades. It's a lot to handle. Stay for plate. 
and then we back. We didn't even have to auto it. As long as we're close to it, when our minions break it, we'll get credit and get the gold. Now we got Yomu's moving 365 out of combat. Love to see it, man. Caitlyn's base movement speed is 325. 40 movement speed goes a long freaking way. And guess what? 40 movement speed is more than free boots. Or it's more than boots. Nearly double. Boots is 25. Yomu's 40 out of combat. So roaming or getting back away from base is kind of nuts. And then we have the activation, which is 20% movement speed. Bonus movement speed per 6 seconds. Nice. It's the only way to get all of those. We have a Boots of Mobility Nunu. I haven't seen that in a long time. Normally when you see Moby Boots, somebody's trolling. <laughs> it's a super troll boot option ever since they made it more expensive like a year ago. Auto W Auto. EQ. Yeah, you can't step through Caitlyn Trap, buddy. Up until that point, he was actually playing somewhat decent. There, he may not have seen that Caitlyn Trap. If you do it in between your auto attacks, like an auto reset, a lot of times people don't even notice it. They'll tunnel in on you versus what's in front of them. Yomas is outrageous. That is a plate, my guy. Oof, I wanted that auto, couldn't find it. Let's go ahead and get a trap down. They don't cost much mana. We always want one to be recharging so that we're utilizing the cooldown. We have something to kite around. Mm, couldn't get all those without my Q. I didn't want to waste the E for a minion. It's good to put our pressure down on people. Squishies who can't heal or shield it away. He's afraid to trade. He doesn't want to get netted. Nice. Hmm. These are at kind of a weird HP. No clue where Talon's at, but I have Ghost and Flash, so I should be able to get away. Auto EQ. <sighs> Couldn't find it. Taking quite a bit of damage. I try not to use my Yomus unless it's life and death. Or just poking, it puts you in a weird spot if you get ganked. The activatable. My goodness. Got it. My R is almost back up. Not that long of a cooldown. Alrighty, that's a void bug. He's about to eat one. He kind of has to back. He's, he's getting into the danger zone here. Got it. Oof. Ah, uh, if Talon's not here, <laughs> please. Please, let it be. All right, not bad. Go speed up, Yomu speed up. Even though he has boots, it doesn't really matter. Not even close, Senna. Mm, lost the cannon. Freaking tragic. Oh, lame. I overstayed for sure. I'm gonna lose a lot of tempo now. He's looking. For, he's gonna look for me. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Almost got me too. At this point, I'd say at least tier one boots, and we start going for this item. Opportunity, very very strong. Because if you haven't been in combat with champions, which is easy to do, it's just for eight seconds, then you get an, an additional chunk of lethality, five to 10, depending on your champion level. It lasts for three seconds after dealing damage, so I can hit him with triple auto Q, and the whole thing will have more lethality. And it's only 2,700, pretty affordable with movement speed on top of that. Then max our trap second. Let's put one down right there. 
He's about to lose this plate. That did some damage, man. It was nearly 200 damage. 270. Whew. Your Q does more damage against the first target it hits. It does half against everything behind it. Talon's on the right side. Gotta watch out for that. Nice. If I could see him with my R, he's dead. He's a goofball. <laughs> oh man. Caitlyn Q does more than Caitlyn R, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my R is 528 right now. My Q's six, over 600. He really needs to dodge that Q. Can rip these turrets with headshots. Tristan and Caitlyn are two of the best AD carries for busting turrets. Caitlyn might actually be better ever since they made her headshot on her... Uh, Fifth auto instead of every sixth. Talon may or may not come over here. I gotta back off. I'm too far up on the map. Dragon's the move here for sure. I'll leash the Nunu. -nu. It's a cool Nunu -nu skin. That is the Cosmic Paladins. Hmm. I like the Cosmic part. I don't think the Paladins makes much sense. Very cool skin. Is he in range? Yes, sir. 571. Not bad. I don't know if you guys saw that. Cannon tried to switch his target to the lower health minion before he died. <sighs> Couldn't get it. These guys are all just missing. None of them want to fight us right now. I'll end the game early. Put them out of their misery. The noble thing to do. No, I, have a, I would really like a blue buff. Make this a lot easier. Weight is 0 and 6 right now. My goodness. The touch of the void, I'm getting some extra true damage against the turret since Nunu got the void links for us. Those void bugs. Those toilet bugs, those turd bugs, those stink bugs. Dude, this chick hurts. Wow. Senna's damage is insane. <laughs> Holy crap. She has collector. Maybe I should just go collector. 60, 20% crit, 16 lethality. Less lethality. This has more lethality, but 5 less AD. 5% movement speed, but no crit. It is 300 gold cheaper, so I'll go this for now. We'll go this, then we'll go this. Yeah, we'll build this. I have this a weird attack speed thing now. Oh my gosh, they de- What the heck? I guess the server went down. Well, that's gonna do it for me. If you guys enjoyed this Caitlyn video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.